This video takes a look at the Employee Self Service Portal when using QuickBooks Payroll powered by KeyPay. When you set up an employee for the first time, they receive two emails. One email is entitled User Account Created. This provides a link to the employee portal. It also prompts a user to download WorkZone, which is available on the App Store or on Google Play. The other email provides the login details for QuickBooks Payroll. It provides a link which will redirect you and prompt you to put in a password. Go to the email and click the employer portal link. Type your email address and the password that you just created. And this will take you to the employer dashboard. Here you can review recent pay slips. View leave and add leave. You can view and create timesheets. Decide how you found work for the week. And also show a leave calendar, which shows an overview of people taking leave, paydays, public holidays, etc. An employee is able to change or modify their details if that setting's been allowed. You can change things like email address, mobile phone number, residential address and postal address. Click save when you change those details. You can also look at emergency contact details, change or add bank accounts. So I might add an account that lets me save for Christmas and add $50 a week. You can also change or add super funds. You can apply for expenses by submitting an expense claim Add a description, add an attachment, which may be a PDF document or an image of a receipt. Click the date incurred, choose an expense category, add notes, an amount, choose a tax code if that's appropriate, and choose a location if it's not your primary location. You can either add another line item to that or click done. Then click create when you're finished. That's now been submitted for approval. The employee portal can also be used for document management. From here you can see recent pay slips, payment summaries if there's been any issued so far, and other documents that can be used for things like an employment contract, policies and procedures, manuals, etc. etc. We can add timesheets. Here's a timesheet screen I filled in already. To start a new week, you can choose a work type, a start time, I can use shorthand like 9A to represent 9AM and 10P to represent 10PM. And I can also add in an unpaid break. An unpaid break will reduce the duration of the shift. Choose a location. Then, I can copy that shift down to another line simply by holding down shift and highlighting it and dragging down a little box on the right hand side. I can also use copy paste functions like control C and control V or if you're using a Mac, command C and command V. Click save when you're done. You can use the actions menu to copy shifts from a previous week and make changes as you need to. You can also add in a timesheet line. Here I'm going to add a second a second shift to the Saturday. I'm going to copy the details of the first shift down and change the time. Then I might change the location from bar one to front of house. The employee can also apply for leave. I click the apply leave button, select a category to choose from, choose the start and the finish date of that leave,
and it'll estimate the number of hours required. It'll incorporate any public holidays that are between those two dates and looks at the standard hours of the employee. Add a note. You can add an attachment if that's required for something like a medical certificate and click Submit. And that's an overview of the Employee Self-Service Portal using QuickBooks Payroll powered by KeyPay.